Hi, good evening. My name is Father Brayapa. I've been giving some talks on adaptation. Yesterday, I filmed a adaptation number one segment in which I was discussing about the uh, physical uh, adaptation, which means um, an organism uh, can adapt to the new environment. For example, a crow uh, living in an environment happily because food is available and water is available and the crow lives in the habitat. So when food and water is gone, so the physically there is an environmental change. So the crow goes to another environment where food is available and water is available and it continues to live forever and ever. So it's called the physical adaptation. That's what I was talking about yesterday in the segment number one. In the segment number two, in this segment, I'm going to talk about the adaptation uh, type two, um, which is called structural adaptation. That means, structural adaptation means an organism undergoes genetic variation. The whole structure of the DNA is changed and uh, um, that is happening in many places even today and uh, one example I want to give you is from my own village Ekattupudi near Bello. Uh, uh, we have mountains and people <laughs> use them for uh, quarrying stones and gravel and many quarries they don't uh, abide by rules and uh, they exploit mountains anyway. So our mountains were black, not that black, maybe gray I should call it. So the mice, those who are living in those mountains were black and gray for thousands of years um, and they reproduced and they were successfully living in that environment. But suddenly the quarry came and they powdered the mountain and they extracted granite stone and gravel and the mountain was pulverized and um, when you break the rock the all the soot and the debris and the fallout becomes white so the black rock has become white now the whole mountain because they pulverized the powder flew and deposited all mountain the mountain looks white. So now, what is going on with the mice? Because before they were black, because they were camouflaged. That's a way even eagles can never spot them because it is an advantage for them being camouflaged with the environment or with the context. So now they're exposed. Black will be seen clearly by the vultures and the eagles and they become prey. They come and eat them all. So the uh, mice population is declining now. But the uh, environment is more, ecology is smarter than us. It's already unleashed a new form of mouse. White mouse! <laughs> because the background is white. Now they need to be camouflaged. It's a survival of the fittest. Otherwise they're going to go extinct, isn't it? So now Slowly they transform into white mouse. So now they become camouflaged with the background of white mountain. So the vultures and the eagles can never ever spot them out. So that gives the advantage for the white mouse to produce and reproduce and they flourish. So that is what structural adaptation is all about. So uh, I can define it as more, uh, structural adaptation is more commonly uh, refers either to the process of becoming adopted or to the features of organisms that promote reproductive success relative to other possible features. So that gives you, the structural adaptation gives you uh, reproductive success and um, uh, that gives more advantage to the species. So they pass the mutations to the next generation because successive traits 
all the successive traits are passed for generations and generations. And if that trait is not successful, I think it will not be passed to the next generation because there is no advantage. So this is how the adaptation takes place. It's not only an organism flies away or goes away to the un another environment and uh, uh, adopt that environment, and also body can stay in the same environment where the limiting factor is imposed. It can stay forever, but structural changes can uh, uh, make the organism to live in the same context, in the same environment and live successfully. Here, the process of adaptation is driven by genetic variations among individuals that become adapted to that is have greater success in a specific environmental context or environmental habitat. So this is what's happening. Uh, this is, nature is smart. I mean, we are talking about 4.5 billion years of evolution. So they have found out hmm, solutions for every problem. And uh, actually, I, I read a quote somewhere. I quoted in my book, Ecology, Environment, the bookmarks of our existence, that beautiful quote, which reads like this. When we come up with a better, latest mouse trap, nature would have already come up with that latest mouse. So you may not be able to capture it anyway. See, always nature is one step ahead of us. Hey, we are the products of nature. We are children of nature. Still Nature is the mother. Mother knows it all. You know your mothers. I know my mother. Everybody knows because they know everything. Every mother knows everything. And they are the bosses. So we learn from our own mothers. You better apply to Mother Earth. If our mothers could be that way, imagine Mother Earth, how oh, she is. She is a mother. Planet Earth is a female and she is a mother. It is not patriarchy where you could get away with so many things, where you can screw up. That is what patriarchy is all about. But with matriarchy, you don't mess with them. They are the best. They are pros. They are professionals. Whatever they do, they are professionals. While all nature depends on matriarchy, why this stupid homo sapiens is promoting only patriarchy? That's my question. I don't understand that. Whole nature is matriarchal. Look at the elephant herd. Who goes in the front? Matriarch. Female elephant. They don't rely on a male elephant. You see, matriarch means he's a leader. He has the ability to find water, water hole, or his ability to find food, his ability to protect the young, the whole herd. And they've got wisdom to guide the rest of the elephant herd. So that's a female's matriarch. So if only female have the ability, males have to just walk behind. In every uh, uh, populations and communities, we see that in the jungle, mostly females, they lead the whole population or community, but only in this stupid homo sapiens community, the patriarchy has come. The men know everything. The men run everything. And they think women are inferior and men are superior, which is known as androcentrism. Anthropocentrism is man-centered, but this idiotic, uh, man-centered uh, craziness is called androcentrism. It is practiced by mostly by religions. Religions are the first androcentric uh, promoters for the past 10,000 years, even in the scientific age. We need to follow this. That is stupidity. I think time has come to go for some changes. I think the whole patriarchy should realize they are unable. They have been given for the past 2,000 years the patriarchal guidance, leadership. What did we create? Just look at the history of our planet for the past 2,000 What did we create? Patriarchy, are you listening? What did you create? Misery, division, violence, war, destruction. But 
Give to me a triarch. You should accept. You are homo sapiens, isn't it? You have humility and simplicity. You talk about it very often, isn't it? Quit. If you are a counterfeit, quit. Leave the stage to matriarch. The whole ecosystems we have to learn. Look at the ecosystems. If you are a better survivor, if you want to have survival of the fittest, learn from nature. Look at the ecosystem. Learn from it. Don't try to hide it. I think we are unsuccessful because we don't know what's happening in an ecosystem. They have been existing for the past 4.5 billion years. They must be doing something right, isn't it? They must be doing something right. For the past 2,000 years we have been doing only all wrong. All wrong, wrong, wrong. So I think if you open your mind and see, eyes you see, if you have ears to hear, if you have nose to smell, your heart to contain, go to ecosystems, learn. Ecosystems tell, come on, matriarch, give the leadership to them. They'll be able to bring balance and harmony in the nature which patriarchy screwed up. So I think adaptation is very important. The adaptation is not only in the structural um, sphere, but also in our cultural sphere. And we should accept our own limitedness. That is adaptation. Accepting your own limitedness, your own fragility, that is adaptation. And step out and give the leadership to the matriarchy, that is adaptation. So if you do that, surely our species, Homo sapiens, has a chance to continue its existence on planet Earth. Happy adaptations. Thank you. Bye.